Hello and welcome back to the Dukoscopy TV studio. I'm Natalie MacDonald. Coming up next is Ahmed Al Jebaji of Arab Swiss Consulting. Ahmed, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for inviting me, Natalie. Now, firstly, I'd like to talk through the relationship between the Arab market and the Swiss market. How does this relationship function? The interest of the Arab markets in Swiss product and service have been always been excellent. Due to the increased price of oil, and the huge amount of liquidity binding with this, the sales of oil to $120 or $110, is making for these countries easy to buy Swiss products. In the same time, because of the EU crisis in the last five years, the Swiss companies are more interested in entering a new market. So one of them is the Arab markets are getting more and more interested for them. With the Middle East prevalent in today's news agenda, what impact does this have on the Arab market? Actually, on the market itself have no impact because everybody are thinking that the Arab market is one piece. It's actually, it's been divided to three or four pieces. So we have actually a problem in Syria, but that don't impact the whole market. If you come to the Gulf region, if you go to the North African, still we have still problem in Libya, but the other markets are functioning normally. So you could export or even import goods from these countries without any problems. How then do these items shape how you advise clients to position themselves within the global market? Actually, in the beginning, I would like to see how is the strength and the weakness of these companies, whether they have already tried to go to international business or even or global business before, and why are they decided to choose this market for their products and goods. And uh, afterward, we develop a kind of strategies for them that fit to their products. And normally, we don't do one strategy. We do two strategies to see which one is is efficient for him and he could even see the range where he could go around. We recommend to him at the end to, to use both strategy, some kind of diversification the strategy, strategy itself. Which market entry strategies then are you seeing as being most successful at present? Actually you could, you cannot say this is strategy, it depends on the product and the service that you sell. So we cannot say this strategy uh, it's working at, Building an alliance or joint venture with a, in this country, it will work. It depends on the service itself. But uh, we study the company in the beginning and we tell them our recommendations and we give them our experience on these strategies. And so the, the customers look at it and think about it. All right, thank you very much for coming in and sharing your insight with us today. Thank you, Natalie, for having me again. That's all we've got time for right now, but we'll be back shortly with more exclusive interviews for you, so don't go away.